Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarping, PhD in Accounting, and our topic today is normal distribution chart on Tableau. So first of all, for this distribution math, it is very hard to do it on Tableau. You need to code it, you need to program it. So we will be working with the charts. So we will do the math on Excel. And by the way, all of the math, we have a video about it and the video is in our video description, okay? So a brief about normal distribution. The chart is a, is a bell-shaped curve and two parameters only mean and standard deviation. So properties, infinite number of normal curves. So we can work with uh, each set of data will have a different normal curve. It's not like binomial or other distribution that we have only one curve. The highest point is over the mean. So the highest point is here, the mean. Also, the mean is the same as median and mode on a perfect normal distribution that we don't have it in real life, but we have quite close to it. And the curve is symmetrical. Left and right, they are mirror images of each other. So that means that the tail of the normal extends to infinity in both directions, but they don't touch the horizontal axis and the area under the normal curve to the right of the mean equals the area to the left. So here, the area to the right and to the left, they are the same. So the area under each half is 0 0.5. So here we have two situations, same standard deviation, so the same width, but different means. So they are close to each other. The second one, the same mean, the maximum point will be the same, but different standard deviation. One will be narrow, the other one will be wider. And the probability for the math, probability between A and B. And three important percentages, and then for this uh, percentage, we need the Z-score. And we have a video about Z-score, and the video is uh, in in our video description as well. So two thirds of the numbers will be between one um, mean and one standard deviation to the right or to the left, 90, 95, two, and 99, three. So how do we do that? So first of all, let's go to our Excel file. And we have two exchanges, NASDAQ in the US, Ibovespa in Brazil, my home country. So here we have the normal distribution math. Why do we have two? The F, probability that the number of NASDAQ point will be exactly this one. Always very, very, very low. No practical meaning of this number. However, is it is with this number that we do the normal curve. And this F here, this is the most important one. Uh, this is the cumulative probability. So on 15,500, 82% of probability that the NASDAQ will be between zero and uh, 15.5 thousand points. If we want to go here between these two or between these two here, better, between 15.3 and 15, it will be 79 minus 72. So 7% 7 of chances to, to be between these two numbers. The same with Ibovespa. And why do we have the number splits here? Because of the Excel. So we need to split them to do the cumulative curve because the cumulative curve, we must sort our numbers by NASDAQ or by the cumulative distribution, not by date. So on Excel, if we do that with NASDAQ, we screw the Ibovespa and vice versa. So we create two additional uh, sheets. We don't need to do that on Tableau. And by the way, let's do that chart first. So let's save it. We have the yellow and Tableau. Remember, Tableau is not a database, so we need to Tell Tableau that we are working with the raw data and we need the Excel. 
So, okay, let's do the cumulative one. So, F, NASDAQ, and date. And date here, not by, by year, it is by day. And the second day here, that is the full day. This day here, it is all of days eight. Doesn't matter the month. So here, day, and that is what we have. Yeah, it doesn't look like a cumulative. So what do we do? So the easiest way, go on table here, and then we have these numbers and then go on sum here. So it was, so let's control Z, it was here, move to row, and then here, sort ascending by sum of NASDAQ. Whoa, here is what we have. However, it is not that pretty. And why? Because it's too large. So what do we do? Standard fit width. And here we have our cumulative. So NASDAQ cumulative. See? And now let's do the second one to see if we got it right. So the cumulative for Ibo Vespa. Some Ibo Vespa exchange date. Let's move to day. Let's go on the table. Let's sum it. There are tons of other ways to do that, okay? This is the one that I think is the fastest. Sort ascending, and then the standard fit width. So here we have Ibo Vespa or Ibo Vespa cumulative. Ibo Vespa is in Portuguese, the country of this stock, and then fit high. Oh, no, entire view, uh, it's the same as the fit width. So here we can fit our numbers on a very different ways. And we can even delete this day of exchange date here. We don't need it for anything, but okay, we cannot delete it. Okay, no problem. And then here, the days are kind of Method, but we don't need to create a different database and so on. And then let's go to the normal curve. So NASDAQ curve. That is easier to be done, or quite easier. So let's go here, FX, not the capital F, the regular F. And NASDAQ, X, only one dot, we need that beautiful normal curve. Exchange date, and why exchange date? Because our numbers are per day. Exchange date, details, yeah, only two, remember, day. And here, see, pretty normal curve, huh? But again, it's not a perfect one. So we will, usually we don't get perfect normal curves in real life data, especially on accounting, finance, or business. But I don't want these dots. I want a line. Just click here, automatic. There are a lot. I want squares. It will be squares. Or I want bars. It will be bars. That is quite pretty one as well. You have all of the area here. Or line. We have the normal curve. But let's do the Ibo Vespa on, uh, on columns to see. So here, Ibo Vespa curves, or, or let's rename it normal curve, Ibo Vespa, and here, normal curve, NASDAQ. And the title changes as well. And then so Ibo Vespa and the F Ibo Vespa. Exchange date on detail, not year, but day. X, we don't want it. Let's go on bar or line. 
is the bar is not pretty, huh? The bar is kind of weird, so we go online. So let's go on NASDAQ with the bar. Ah, that looks pretty. So it's just like a, how do you want to show your, your chart? But I don't want blue. I want a orange. So Ibovespa here, I also want an orange. So orange will be Ibovespa, blue will be NASDAQ. And why? And see that curve here goes a little bit down, but never touch the axis. Okay, because the uh, normal distribution, we don't have negative numbers. Okay, so a dashboard here, uh, normal distribution. And then dashboard, show title. So, okay, let's go on NASDAQ first. Hmm? Coin. And then Ibo Vispa. Oops, Ibo Vispa cumulative. So let's move it here. And normal curve Ibo Vespa. Cool, huh? And then the normal distribution, we can go into the center. And here we have a pretty fancy uh, dashboard. Or, see, it is too much to the right. I want to put it more on center. Normal curve, NASDAQ. See, it's too much here. Double click on the axis and let's start it on the 10K. Double click, fix it, start 10K. Oh, better now, huh? And what is so cool? When I go to the dashboard, it shows me. And can you see the pin here? It means that I changed it. It's not automatic anymore. The same as Ibo Vespa. Let's start on the 16. You'll be pretty. Sixteen here. And then look the normal distribution much, much better. See, so so easy to work on charts on Tableau, much, much easier than on Excel. We don't want to create additional uh, sheets or anything like that because we can sort our, our data on different ways only using the, uh, the charts and not going to the database. And here, oops. Oops, okay, I'm not going to screw it. Here is our, our dashboard. Okay, guys, interesting, huh? Interesting and so, so cool to work with Tableau. We can create much better and easier charts than on any other software that I know. Power BI is also a very good one, but not uh, that user-friendly, at least in my personal opinion, than Tableau, okay? So guys, thank you so much. Questions or comments, uh, you can post it here or email me at gmail.com. Have a very nice day and God bless you.